Okay. For some reason, there was no audio capture until now. Great. Uh, no, I'll just keep going. Uh, upon seeing Leonardo's design, however, the Sultan felt the project was too ambitious and scrapped the idea. Four years later, Bayezid extended the same invitation to a young artist named Michelangelo. But Michelangelo, being an avowed rival of da Vinci's, refused the Sultan's invitation outright, evidently incest that Leonardo had been asked first. This is why I like this game, these games, that you can learn quite a bit from them. Okay, let's save the changes, so it won't BS me again. And let's keep going. Okay, I will turn the volume down just a bit. Okay. I think that's better. Back. Weird back button. Sure, where are we going? Yusuf Tazim. Yusuf Tazim. Abstergo has some data on this guy, gathered a few years back, but there's not a lot about him in standard history books, which I'm sure he'd be happy to know. Yusuf Tazim was a Turk born in Bursa around 1467, but was raised in Constantinople from the age of eight by his mother. His father was an assassin, and presumably that's how Yusuf became one too. But there's no mention of what happened to Papa Tazim. Was he killed? Did he desert the family? Your guess is as good as mine. By the time he was 17, Yusuf was well known around the city as a rabble rouser and a petty thief. But a chance meeting with the legendary vizier Ishak Pasha changed all that. Ishak was an assassin too operating in a sublime port right under Beazid II's nose. It was Ishak who had defeated Vlad Tepesh and later brokered the tentative truce between Ottomans and assassins. By the late 1480s, he was busy recruiting open-minded citizens of the empire to his order's cause. Yusuf was taken with Ishak's charisma and easy manner of leading and so joined the assassins just before his 20th birthday. From there, Yusuf's rise was swift and assured, and by 1500 CE, he had made quite a name for himself. In 1502, Yusuf met with a contingent of Venetian assassins in Greece in a joint effort to steer the Ottoman-Venetian war to a peaceful end. These efforts appear to have paid off, for in 1503, the fighting stopped, ushering in a brief era of peace on the Ottoman Empire's western border. Perhaps made complacent by the assassin's successes in keeping the peace, Sultan Bayezid II grew soft in his final decade, preferring his mystical texts and alchemical experiments to governing. This suited the assassins just fine, for a dull peace was preferable to endless war and imperial expansion. But following the earthquake in 1509, a new threat appeared in Constantinople. Templars fighting under the old Byzantine crest. Steering from years of relative calm, Yusuf once again roused his assassins to begin the long and difficult fight ahead. Okay, lead the way. A warm welcome. Master Assassin Yusuf Tazim has welcomed you to Constantinople and would like to give you a tour. Get to know him in the city. Sure. Welcome to Galata district. For centuries, it has been a home to orphans from Europa and Asia alike. You won't find more diversity anywhere else in the city. And for that reason, assassins make it their home. I would like to see where. Kishin Likle. The Brotherhood is always eager to meet the man who put the Borgias out to pasture. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Does everyone in this city know I'm here already? Well, your holy land tussle with the Templars did not go unnoticed. Bomb ingredients are scattered around when the I city. When I first set out, violence was so far from my mind. I sought wisdom. The contents of Altair's library. <laughs> not realizing it has been sealed for three centuries? <laughs> no, I assumed as much. But I never expected to find Templars guarding it. Very troubling, no? Five years ago, uh, Templar influence here was minimal. A small faction with dreams of restoring the Byzantine throne. But they're growing in number, day by day. 
and the Sultan bases it on his way out. They may try something dramatic. Is there no heir to the Ottoman throne? Not just one. Two angry sons. It's a familiar pattern with these royals. When the Sultan coughs, <laughs> the princes draw their swords. Lovely. Isn't that isn't it great when that happens? Between the Templars and the Ottomans, you must stay busy. Ezio, I barely have time to polish my blade. Wait, what kill streaks? Kill an enemy and swiftly press left mouse button to hit your next target and kill him instantly. Continue chaining attacks. Huh. Okay. Kill Strix it is. Yusuf? More Templars! Look sharp! Shouldn't we just Bruno. get away? Watch. Byzantium is dead! As are you! The whole city wakens to welcome you, Ezio. Right. First the regents, now the rats. Ottoman soldiers have a special loathing for these Byzantine thugs. That gives us some breathing room. How much? Eh, just a little. They'll still kill you if you look at them wrong. But they will feel bad about it later. At least that. <laughs> it's not so bad, really. For the first time in many decades, the assassins have a strong presence here. It wasn't always that way. Under the Byzantine Emperor, the assassins were hunted down and killed on the spot. I don't need the pickpot people. Pickpocket people. Where's the doctor? We're almost there. But let's do it just for fun. I do it! God! He's trying to Brazil Harry Flair! Galata Tower. I've never been to Istanbul. Built by Genoese settlers in 1348, an expansion of their colony on the north shore of the city, the latter tower was the key component to a larger defensive structure, most of which had been dismantled by the time of the Ottomans. In the, uh, excuse me. In the 17th century, the tower was purported to have served as the launch point for one of the earliest sustained unpowered attempts at human flight. According to reports from a traveling historian, a man named Herzfan Ahmed Celebi stuck himself into a homemade glider one fine day in 1632 and threw himself off the tower's cornice. According to this and this one and only eyewitness, Herzfan's flight took him over Galata and across the Bosphorus waterway where he landed safely on the shores of the Asian continent. Awed by his apparently supernatural abilities, the Sultan Murad paid Herzfan a fat bag of gold coins, then banished him to Algeria, where he died some years later. Later in the 18th century, the Ottomans began using the tower to spot fires in and around the city, but by the late 20th century, the only fires of any concern to visitors of Galata Tower were those burning up the floor of the nightclub built at the tower's apex. That's right, dinner and dancing for a modest price, high above the world, a far cry from the rather staid impulses of the Middle Ages. No? This way. Yeah, I recognize the idea. Oh. Uh, excuse me! Uh, oops, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Mentor, say hello to your extended family. 
Salute a voi, Assassini. It is an honor to find such fast friends so far from home. You see, brothers? Our mentor is not afraid to weep openly in front of pupils. <laughs> Do not worry. I will not make a habit out of it. Ezio and I were ambushed on the way here. I'd like some of you to do a sweep of the area. Hey, man! And you, Ezio. Your weapons and armor are in a pitiful state. Yeah, a bit. Maybe find some money and repair what you can. There is a blacksmith nearby. He's a friend. Buona idea. Ezio's equipment is not in good condition. Explore Galat District and upgrade his equipment. Exit Assassin's HQ. I don't know why I came in. Chests can be found around the city. Loot them. I'm just gonna go through and see what I find. Find new armor. Earn enough money. Systemic events. Citizens in need may reward me. Okay. I always liked the upside. Okay, what did you say? Why the hell are these stupid controls? Viewpoints. Assassin then. Viewpoint. Sure, let's hit that one. Can can you can you mark it for me, please? Is it is it marked now? I hope so. Okay. Let's see what we can see. <coughs> Throw money. Just, just grab the ledge. Uh. Ow! Okay. What the hell are you doing? Don't fall, don't fall. Can't I pick up the firearm? Eh, never mind. Uh, that tower, I guess. Mercenaries. Uh, that thing. Just get a bit closer so I can get you. That's also a nice way to get money. Okay, so grab the thing. How do I grab the thing? Um, um, 
How does that work? For larger orders, free on site adjustments, and his renowned after sale service. Come to stay here. <coughs> Rebates. Can I hit that? No. <coughs> so <coughs> climb that thing. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> no, no, yes. Map updated. Bookshop. Sure, let's check out the bookshop. No. <gasps> Do the thing. Excuse me. Wait. Is it is it this thing? No, it's the other way. Anyone carry on like that? Because it's fun. Uh, uh, he must be completely insane. That's the bookshop? Seems rather closed. Okay, let's try and sink that. Awesome, <laughs> it's that huge tower. <coughs> Climb, Ezio. Climb. Don't you just hit it that the same button for grab is the, is the button for let go? Uh, keep going. Damn this tower. <coughs> Left or right? You can do it. Come on.
I assume I need to go higher up. There it is. Damn, that's high up. Kitchen. Wait, there's even a higher up? That's your guys insane. Oh boy. Secret location. Wait, so is there a blacksmith near here? That is a tailor. This is Galata Tower Bank If this is the assassin That's the objective Sheesh Then just say so So that was the assassin hideout Let's see how much it costs to repair my armor. Great, it's next door. We pride ourselves on delivering good quality at fair prices. Excuse me. Armor. Spalders. 403. Minus 15%. What? Plus one health, plus three resistance. Sure. Yes. Uh, back. No armor requires repairs. I also make. I only the highest quality guarantee. I'm not done. Weapons. Russian warhammer. No. Bearded axe. Uh, hell no. Yatagan sword. I own that one. Small weapons. Kurdish Jambaya. Jambia. Hmm. I really don't understand these prices. Crossbow? Too expensive. Ammunition. I'm, f I'm f full enough. Ingredients? I don't know what to make of them yet. Indian gunpowder. Pyrite coins. Fine. You do seem rather rustic for my exclusive arms. Stalkers. You have any money? Wait, what is it about the Ottomans? You said something about the Ottomans. The Battle of Bayfius, fought just 50 kilometers to the east of Constantinople in 1301, marks the first recorded mention of the Ottomans in world history. Led by a man called Osman, his, this modest army of Turks won a stunning victory over their Byzantine opponents, routing them from the battlefield and driving them north to the edge of the Sea of Marmara. The defeat shocked the complacent Byzantines who had already been struggling for decades to maintain a grip on the region. Over the next 150 years, the strength and size of the Ottoman Empire grew practically unhindered. Winning victory after victory, the Ottoman sultans slowly but surely engulfed regions once controlled by the mighty Byzantine Empire, first in Anatolia, now modern Turkey, then in Thrace, present-day Hungary, Greece, Macedonia, Albania, etc., 
Over time, the Ottomans' increasing presence in Eastern Europe began to worry the West, and most especially irked the Vatican, whose hatred of the Eastern Orthodox Church now seemed a mere quarrel over semantics in light of the encroaching Islamic Empire. But when push came to shove, even the Pope could not be bothered to send aid to the ailing Byzantine Emperor, whose empire, by the middle of the 15th century, contained only the capital, Constantinople, and its surrounding villages. Then at last, in 1453, after 54 days of fighting, Constantinople fell to the Ottomans too. Led by the Sultan, 21-year-old Mehmet II, the Janissaries pulled through a breach in the wall into the city. Upon entering the city center, the victorious Sultan headed straight for renowned Hagia Sophia. Reaching the ancient cathedral, he fell to the ground and sprinkled some raw earth over his turban as a sign of respect. Eager to relocate the capital to the shores of the Bosphorus, Mehmet's first order of business was to rebuild Constantinople, now rendered as Constantinie in Turkish, and colloquially called Istanbul by many of its residents. As the model city of cosmopolitan empire, in the decade after the conquest, he was careful to preserve what he could of the, of the old Byzantine capital while imbuing everything with a modern Ottoman meaning. In this, Sultan Mehmet must be considered a success, for in little more than a few decades, the population exploded from a paltry 40,000 citizens to well over 100,000 Muslims, Christian Jews, and Romani. People flocked to the city from east and west, drawn to a capital bursting with commercial life in the heart of an empire that valued religious and cultural diversity not only by tradition, but by rule of law. I guess they were very advanced for their age. Um, some guy tried to kill me. Do you know anything about this? Praise the heavens! We feared we had lost our mentor to the vices of the big city. I am content with my own vices, grazie. So, what's on your mind, Ezio? Tell me more about the Templars. You call them Byzantines. Yet the Byzantine Empire was overthrown 60 years ago. These men are remnants of a line loyal to the cause of the last emperor, Constantine XI. Who leads them now, however? I cannot say. Capisco. I suppose it is up to me to find out. Capish. It's you. Where is your hook blade? My hook blade? You've never seen one? I grew up using these. Hmm. Show me how it works. The hook blade. Follow Yusuf to learn how to use your new hook blade. Every hook blade moves successfully at least once. Okay, what do I do with it? Yeah, we've already been here. Cool. Think of the hook blade as an extension of yourself. It's oh, that's how I grab the ropes. This way. Ah. Here, come on. Well, to now. Where do you want to go now? Excuse me. The long jump. You think I cannot make this one? Didn't break a sweat. <laughs> This way. Ah. I missed. No, that go over there, there, there. No, yes, go. Come on. Ah. 
hide from a man this skilled. <coughs> Fragment removed? What do you mean fragment removed? I like this hook blade, it's kinda cool. Watch and learn, Nezio. We call this a hook and run. Sprint at your opponent, and just as you reach him, Use the hook blade to slip by. Uh, okay. Shahane! Okay, I did it. Cool maneuver. Oh wait, I have to do this like this? What am I missing here? Run towards the guard, tap to the right next to him and hook and run. Or hold to execute the hook and run. Hook and run, hook and throw. Tap to hook and throw or hold to hook and run. Okay. Harika. Run towards the assassin and perform and hold to perform a hook and run. Okay. The standard Ottoman hook blade has two parts, you see. The hook and the blade. So you can use one or the other. An elegant design. <laughs> How about the bigger challenge? I've already been there. Hmm? Va bene, let's go. Hmm. The view from the Galata. Ezio is now the proud owner of an Ottoman hook blade and needs a bit of training to master it. Training Yusuf is more than happy to provide. Climb the tower in 60 seconds. <laughs> Cut, gut, nah. I hate those goddamn controls. You need to run at come move. Having fun? No. Ah! Let go of the block and just go and then go. Having fun? That's right. Let the hook blade do the work. I'm catching up. Throw yourself into it. Uh.
Welcome to Constantinia, Ezio. The crossroads of the world. Many generations of men have ruled this city, but they have never subdued her. She always bounces back. It seems a fine place to call home. It is. Brace you to the bottom. <laughs> That's no fair. I am impressed, Yusuf. My brothers in Roma would like this. Just give credit where it is due. <laughs> Yusuf, Chabuk Buri again! Uh, huh? An attack on two fronts, Galata and the Grand Bazaar. Every day, the same bad news. How is your appetite for swordplay? I do what I must. Ever present. Good man. Advanced tactics. What is reach Yusuf that the Templars are attacking two separate assassin dens? Follow Yusuf while he conceives of plan. Zipline assassination. <laughs> when he tires of running, an assassin must take to the air. Watch. So that's how it's done. Nah. <coughs> High and low profile, fine. A Templar scout. And another there. Watch this. <laughs> that seems like fun. Assassin! Help! <laughs> Let's see if he has any money. Don't just wait around. We need to support ourselves. Time to part company. I'll head to the bazaar. You stay here. Do you see that tower? Sure. See. The Galata Den. Evet. I can't be in two places at once, but with you here, I don't have to be. Hide it, Sure. The Galata Tower. You are not allowed up here. Leave. Ow. Get back. Get back. You want to play? Let's play. Where? Hi, honey. Where is he? There. No, assassin, stay. I see that guy over there. I wanna hit that watchtower. What are you doing? Just, just move that way. Climb. Not that way. What are you doing? Just sink the viewpoint. Okay, now I see the assassin over there. Let's go though.
Hi. Rune Buick, Sheriff Usta. Is Yusuf with you? An attack in this city demands his attention. What is our situation? We beat back the vanguard, but they are sure to send more troops. Are your men ready for another fight? They are now. Hello. On the defense. The Templars are preparing to attack the Galata Assassin Den. Leave your fellow assassins in the defense. Those have launched an attack. Yeah, yeah. Do I have my daggers equipped? This is the tower defense part, isn't it? Uh, move the cursor, page up to zoom. Spending units cannot be placed until a rooftop has been unlocked by a leader. Place a leader by moving the cursor to a locked rooftop and pressing space. Hold there. Placing units cost morale. Morale is earned by killing enemies. It is tower defense. To so defending unit, press delete to bring the unit wheel and select a crossbowman. Uh, let me go to the rooftop. To Defend the that area. Make your stand there. Can I put one? Hold that here? point for me. Make your stand there. <laughs> We're playing tower defense. Make your stand there. Barricades in the street to slow the Templars advance. Press delete to bring up the unit wheel and select barricade. Stupid table, stop bugging me. Can't believe we're playing tower defense. Assassin's Creed tower defense. Wait, how much do I need for a leader? Ten, okay. I need you to hold that point. Okay, can I have crossbowmen back? There aren't any other roofs. Hold there. Okay. Rifleman. Slow firing rate, high damage. Defend that area. Make your stand there. Hold that point for me. Make your stand there. Hold that point for me. Move the cursor over the Templar group and press page down to fire a cannon shot or hold the release page down for cannon salvo. Oh. 
Take your stand there. Mary, forgive me. I'm going back to selling fish. What about on the way? Halter advance. Place half a man on the rooftops and barricades in the street. Secure that point. Defend that area. Give me another barricade here and here. I was to shoot his gun. <laughs> Ram. Sell barricades, upgrade barricades. I guess I need the cannon for that. Shoot it! Hooray! Loot, loot, loot. I lost three assassins? Turns remaining health 50%. Really? That bad? Okay. Money 100, apprentice XP 800, phosphorus, the two of hardware, caltrops. New unit, air assassins. What the hell are you talking about? It's getting even more silly by the minute. Okay, one more memory, and off to bed. Send word if the Templars regroup. I will be with Yusuf at the Grand Bazaar then. Take a ferry across the Halic. It's the fastest way to the peninsula. Will do, thank you. Uh, target? Target? Memory start. This is a bank. This is a blacksmith. I have money. I want more money. Empty faction building. We'll talk about that later. Actually, I think I'm gonna stop here because I'm an hour in. We'll do the memory next time. I'm just gonna go and kill that guy over there. Just for the hell of it. And we have more money in the vault. <laughs> and let's switch back to daggers because those are silent. I'm gonna go to the den. Hopefully it'll save. Someone will get hurt. Systemic events. Does this amuse you? Leave at once. What? What about YouTube? Okay, I'm in the den. That's one way in. That's a ladder. Climb the ladder? 
No? Loot. What did I miss? Fuse shell. That's another thing. Is this still a chemical station? Saltpeter, got it. That's the entire den. Okay. Small den. Okay, I'm gonna stop now and I'll catch up to this later. Thank you for watching my channel and see you next time.